Hey guys, my name's Kane and welcome to the CMP Auto Channel. This channel is going to be about some of the fun projects we do here in the CMP workshop, as well as a chance to introduce you to some of the products we have in the works. To start off with though, we're going to be doing an E46 drift build. So wait right here while I go grab it. This is a 2001 E46 320Ci and the first project for the channel. This car is a whopping 288,000 Ks and we're gonna start by dealing with some of the cracking issues these chassis suffer from. So the first part of that process is gonna be putting it in the air, dropping the exhaust wheels and removing some of the boot trim. So let's get to it. Hey guys, before we take this project any further, I just wanted to take a minute to show you how to do a preliminary inspection on your E46 for subframe cracks. This one here, as we said, is 288,000 Ks on it, so it's got a few I found already. So I thought I'd just show you what to look for and where. All right, so here's a look at the back end of an E46. What you're looking at here is the front two and rear two rear subframe mounts. You've got the diff, control arms, trailing arm, damper, all the usual parts. So. What we're gonna be looking at here is the rear left subframe mount. We're gonna try have a peek at the front right subframe mount, and we're also gonna inspect the rear left wheel arch. So let's have a closer look. All right, so looking at the rear left subframe mount, you don't actually wanna look at the subframe bush itself. You wanna look inbound in what's called a stress riser. So the kink here between this, these two faces of the carry panel where there's a fold is generally where cracks initiate, right on that edge there. You can see the pick tool rubbing on now. All right, so this here is the rear left wheel arch. The particular spot you want to be inspecting is actually behind the dampener itself. So getting closer here, this section of the rear axle carry panel is actually joined to the chassis via this flanged edge. And if you look closely, you can see a spot weld up here and another one down here. And essentially that is all that is transferring the majority of the stress from the rear subframe mounts to the chassis. And not surprisingly, these two have popped quite badly. You can generally see as those spot welds let go, the carrier panel starts to shift independent of the frame rail and you'll generally find a big split like this. So that isn't a crack, but rather just the rubberized seam sealer tearing as the two panels move separate of each other. Uh, the final place we're gonna have a look at is the front right subframe mount. So that there is the bolt for the front right mount. And what we're actually gonna try and inspect is where the bushing contacts the chassis. So you can just see it poking through here that bunch of seam sealer there is actually the unibody structure and where you want to be looking is where the bushing inside that steel hoop is contacting. So if you look closely, you can generally see where the bushing has left a rubberized mark, like a black mark in the carry panel itself. And that's an indication of the subframe bushing ramming to the chassis. This area is generally just a product of failure of that bushing ramming into the chassis as those lobes poking out of the bushing are actually uh, have steel inserts in them. Now that we've had a look at where the subframe cracks, we're going to go ahead and finish disassembling this car. 
Uh, one step we're going to do is take off the rear bar, pull out the boot trim, and then we're going to have a go at dropping the subframe itself. So here we go. Now that the car's up in the air again for the last time, we're gonna start by disconnecting the center support bearing. We're gonna drop this double shear brace, uh, separate the prop from the diff and drop it out, pull it out of the way. Disconnect some brake lines, unplug some sensors, and I believe at that point the subframe's good to drop. So let's do it. Well, that's the subframe out. Now let's have a closer look at those cracks I was trying to show you earlier. So here's another look at that rear left subframe out from the other side. So this is where the subframe itself bolted in and this is that area I was trying to point out earlier. So if you look lo closely at that little join, you can see there is a very small hairline crack here and this particular crack goes from about back there up to there. So that's about four inches in total or about 100 mil and pretty common for a car of this age at this point it's not often we see cars in better condition than this looking towards the rear left wheel arch you can have a much better view of those two spot welds i pointed out earlier so there's the lower one and there is the upper one so very clearly broken and not holding on at all and if we come to the other side i'll be able to show you that crack i was trying to point out earlier as well so you can see the tear itself starts about there and you see it comes down, splits along there and travels all the way back to here. So once again, very common, pretty much the two areas we check on just about every car that comes in here, starting with the subframe mount, that's the wheel arch. So looking at the front right subframe mount, you can have a much better view of where I was saying the bushing has contacted the chassis. Those two little crescents are where I was saying the bushing can flex and lunge into the chassis. Uh, and as you can see, this particular one has a spot weld right in the middle of it. Now this is uh, essentially the initiation point for cracking in this area. Looking at this car, it looks like there may be a very faint crack forming around this spot weld right along there, about six mil long in total. Uh, fairly minor and have seen much worse, but nonetheless it is cracked. Well, now that that's out of the way, it's uh, good to have a good look at these mounts, and it's a relief to see they're not too bad. A little bit of work, but nothing unexpected. Uh, before we can call it a day, though, we've got to get this fuel tank out. Uh, simply put, we're going to be welding these front two mounts as well as stitch welding the rear trailing arm mounts into the chassis, so simply no way of avoiding it. So.
let's wrap up with that. Well that's this card disassembled, in the next video we'll be showing these off, so if you want to see how this project progresses, feel free to like and subscribe the channel, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> you good? Yeah I'm out. Uh, You're going to be on the outtakes. <laughs>